Hello again and welcome to another episode of Code This. My name is Trey Hope as always. It's been a little minute since I've done a video. Probably a good a good month now. So I do apologize for taking so long. I just had to get some things cleared on my end. But today I have a special video about Revenue Cat. Um, Revenue Cat is an online, pretty much a, a online package software platform, whatever you want to call it, that handles in-app purchases for your app a little bit easier than what's normally, uh, I guess, given to us as far as what we need to understand about in-app purchases. So in-app purchases is essentially buying digital content within your apps, but it's never, a, at least for me, it's never been an easy process because it's hard to test and you can't really reset subscriptions and things like that. So it's just like, you kind of just winging it. But with Revenue Cat, it's, it's made it a lot easier for me to understand and comprehend and actually see like real-time results when I'm working with the app. So. I'll go ahead and give a quick demonstration of how that works with one of the client apps that I'm working on today. So first thing that you'll need is, uh, it's a package called Purchases Flutter, which is on version 1.1.1, um, at least the last time that I downloaded it. So it might be on a higher level now, but you'll download that and that's gonna give us all the out of the box plugins that we need to work with. Um, you also need to set up your plans on the back end for the iOS store and the Play Store as well, but I won't get into all that. Just just know that, um, well, I'll drop a link to the documentation on how to understand that, but just know you have to have that set up on the back end first before you can work with it in your app. So once you have all that set up, um, you'll need to go ahead and go to your main function or your main.dart function. At least this is where I like to initialize all my variables and API keys and things like that. So. You'll just need to set up logs enabled to true and then pass in the API key. That way we can access our account. All right. So for the app, I have a subscription plan for, I have a gold plan and a silver plan. And both of those subscription plans allows a user in the app to receive a certain amount of messages for the month. So if you're on the gold plan, you get X amount of messages, or I'm sorry, for the week, you get X amount of messages for the week. On the silver plan, you get X amount of messages for the week, right? So. Let's go ahead and jump into it. I have this method right here that loads the products. Well, let's go ahead and just go step by step. So when we go into the subscription page, the first thing we do is we fetch all the products, right? And the products are just the products that I have for my plans, which is the silver and gold plan, all right? And this is what revenue cat looks like um, on the developer side. So you'll create the plans however you want to. So we fetch the products, all right? And then from there, we uh, set our gold plan and silver plan, which are just products, all right? We fetch our current user to get the, the information for that user. And that's where we check to see if the active subscription on that current user is set to anything at the moment. So um, right now, the active subscription is null because I'm not subscribed to anything. So it's going to go to this no plan subscribe state which is essentially just a page that says, hey, do you want to choose a gold or silver plan? And my apologies, I won't be able to demonstrate what it looks like on an emulator today because with Revenue Cat or with in-app purchases, I should say specifically, it doesn't work with the emulator because I'm sandbox testing right now and that only seems to work on a device. So you just have to trust that I know what I'm doing and to see what I'm doing through the code. All right, so uh, we go to the no plan subscribe state and this is where I will choose to subscribe to the gold plan. So I'll hit subscribe now for the gold plan. All right. Um, hold on one second. All right, it's gonna ask me for my password. All right. All right, so that's where I, I pretty much said I want to uh, subscribe to the silver plan. So then we come into this function called buy product event, and this is where we actually make the purchase for a revenue cat. So uh, I created a service called revenue cat service that handles all my stuff on the back end. But just know that I'm passing in the SKU, which is the name of the plan, and we're letting revenue cat know, hey, this user wants to subscribe to this plan. All right. We then get the active subscriptions, um, and we get the active subscriptions from revenue cat to see which subscription this user is tied to. If the user is tied to the gold plan, then we need to update the active subscription property on that user to gold plan and, and vice versa for the silver plan. All right. So we run through all that. I am now on the gold subscription plan and 
uh, next time I come into the app, it's going to let me know, hey, you subscribe to the goal plan. So this is essentially how Revenue Cat works. Um, there's some other cool functions like being able to reset a subscription, which is very helpful while testing because, like I said, with in-app purchases, you can't reset subscriptions. So it's hard to test to see when one started, when one ended while you're testing. Um, and it also allows you to see the entitlements, the products and things such as that. So uh, it's very effective. I've been using it for a good month now, and it's probably probably one of the best packages that I've used when it comes to handling purchases throughout the app. So if this video was helpful, please let me know in the comments. Um, if you liked it, please share it. Uh, if there's anything else that you feel like you're kind of fogging on, you want me to explain more, I could possibly go in more in depth in the future. Uh, but today I just want to give a quick overview on how Revenue Cat uh, works for your app. So. Uh, yeah, let me know if this was helpful and I will see you next time. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Code This. My name is Trey Hope. Have a blessed day.